Inventory is money. The more you have, the more money are blocked. The faster you get the goods to move through inventory to production and to the customer, the more money you do. However, not all inventory items are equal. Some make money, some burn money. In this movie, we will talk about an old and effective inventory management technique and how artificial intelligence will take it to the next level. Inventory management teams utilize ABC categorization, also known as ABC analysis, to identify the most crucial stock items in their portfolio and make sure they prioritize managing them over the less critical ones. Inventory is separated into three categories using the ABC categorization system, A, most important, B, very significant, and C, least important. The idea that all inventory is not created equal is the foundation of an ABC inventory categorization system or ABC analysis. Instead, it adheres to the Pareto principle, which states that 80% of a company's revenue is made by selling 20% of its inventory items. The purpose of ABC analysis is to prioritize inventory management efforts based on the value or importance of each item. A items require the most attention, as they have the greatest impact on the company's financial performance. B items require moderate attention, and C items can be managed with minimal effort. By applying ABC analysis, companies can identify which items require the most resources, allocate resources more effectively, and optimize inventory levels to reduce costs and improve efficiency. Here is how it works, on a small example file. Step 1, in this table we have the calculated column annual consumption value as annual number of units sold x cost per unit. Step 2, now you sort your products in descending order, based on their annual consumption value. Step 3, total up the numbers of units sold and the annual consumption value. Step 4, Calculate the cumulative percentage of items sold and cumulative percentage of the annual consumption values. Step 5. Establish the cutoff points for dividing the data into groups A, B, and C. Your business and its product mix will determine the ABC split threshold, which is often close to 80%-15%-5%. Once the computations are finished, you may analyze how you presently handle the inventory in each category using the final data. Regardless of their categorization, if you discover that you treat all things the same in terms of the stock you keep and the purchases you make, you most certainly have ineffective inventory procedures. As a result, you're probably purchasing too much or too little of a lot of product categories. Good news, there is a ton of room for development. And this will result in lower management, distribution, and storage expenses. It's best practice to modify your inventory and purchasing procedures for each group. To ensure lowest possible cost and on-time delivery, this might include establishing complex ordering procedures for all A goods, such as verifying each purchase order and spending extra time talking with suppliers about lead times. C goods, on the other hand, should need less of your time and might be automatically ordered to conserve vital human resources. ABC analysis is of significant help for businesses running large inventories, but it is static. You do it from time to time and meanwhile the situation can change. Now, with the advent of artificial intelligence, ABC analysis can be further enhanced to provide more accurate and detailed insights into inventory management. You can have an algorithm watching your inventory movements and sales and making changes all the time. Goods can change from one category to another and so does your inventory management of those goods. ABC analysis is based on two factors, cost and annual consumption, but with the power of AI, we can enhance it adding additional dimensions. AI can use machine learning algorithms to automatically classify items into A, B, and C categories based on various criteria such as sales history, profit margins, and other relevant factors. This can help companies optimize inventory levels and reduce costs associated with excess inventory. Finally, AI can use predictive analytics to forecast future demand for each item in inventory. This can help companies better classify items into A, B, and C categories based on anticipated changes in demand and value. Based on the new categories, the ERP system could automatically order new merchandise, or delay planned orders. This way, the inventory will be fully optimized, there will be just enough merchandise to meet the demand, at a lower overall cost, freeing funds for development. Overall, AI can help companies improve ABC analysis by providing real-time insights, 
predictive analytics, and automated classification that can enhance the accuracy and efficiency of inventory management, ultimately helping businesses save money and operate more effectively. This is what the new AI can do for an aging but remarkably effective inventory management technique. Did you like this movie? Would you like to see more like this in the future? If yes, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.